Well, greetings, people of God. I am Pastor L of St. Paul's United Methodist Church here in Maxton. And tonight is Tuesday night praise and worship. And so I want to uh, share with you a short devotional and sing a hymn with you and pray alongside with you tonight. So I invite you now to hear God's word, uh, the good news, according to John. Hear now the word of God. And on the evening of that first day of the week, uh, when the disciples were together and the doors were locked for fear of the Jewish leaders, Jesus came and stood amongst them and said, Peace be with you. And, and the disciples were overjoyed when they saw the Lord and he showed them his hands and his side. And the Lord again said, peace be with you. The word of God for us, the people of God. Thanks be to God. Let us pray. Uh, merciful God, we are so thankful that you stand in the midst of us today. And you say those words to your people. Peace be with you. Father, just open our hearts, open our minds, open our ears that we might hear those words and take them into our hearts, Lord. It is in Jesus' holy and precious name we do pray. Amen and amen. And so, as you already know, the disciples um, saw Jesus crucified and, and they went into hiding. They ran away. Uh, scripture here says they were were behind closed doors. They were they were fearing for their lives, for what was next. And it's in the midst of all of that that Jesus shows up and he says, peace uh, be with you. And he shows them um, the piercings on his hands and on the side. And I really do think Jesus is saying, you know, be at peace. Don't be afraid. Uh, things are, are going to be OK. I'm here. I'm with you. Uh, certainly he's saying that. I think he's also letting them know that, look, it is me. It is the one who was crucified, the one who died, the one who was buried, the one who you were mourning. It's me. But I am alive. Christ is risen. So you can be at peace. Knowing that that I, Jesus Christ, have defeated death. Death is no more. You know, we can say, oh, death, where is your sting? And so you can be at peace. Peace be with you. I think even more importantly, Jesus Christ comes back to his disciples and shows them the piercings. And he says, I am the one whom you crucified. And he's saying, peace be with you. So I didn't come back to judge you. I didn't come back to condemn you. I didn't come back with revenge. I'm here to let you know that you are loved, that you are accepted, that you are forgiven. And so peace be with you. And Jesus Christ comes to us today to let us know the same thing. He says you are loved, you are forgiven, you are accepted, you are the people of God. And so peace be with you. So what a blessing it is to have such a God that is forgiven, that is full of love, full of mercy for all people. We are certainly thankful because of what he has done for you and for me. And so today I, I just remind you that you are loved, that God loves you, that you are forgiven, that you are one of God's children. So to God 
be the glory. Let us pray. Merciful God, we are so thankful that you are a God of peace. We are so thankful that you have forgiven us, given us new life. And we are so thankful, Lord, for everything that you'll continue to do. It's in the name of Jesus Christ we do pray. Amen and amen. I want to share with you, as you might guess, a favorite hymn of mine. If you know it, I invite you to sing along with me. To God be the glory. Just a quick remind you, reminder, uh, tomorrow we do have Bible study via Zoom. And so we'll send that link out. And so I invite you to join us around uh, 6.30, less around an hour. We'll be studying uh, through the book of uh, Mark. And we'll be reading uh, one of the parables. So I invite you to, to come out for that. Um, and again, I want to thank you for allowing me to come into your homes, to worship together, uh, to lift up one another, uh, to pray for each other. And so I do pray blessings and peace to you from our Lord and Savior, uh, Jesus Christ. Amen.